Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel, so it's very much appreciated. Today's video is all about the English Mastiff. Capable of weighing over 200 pounds, the English Mastiff is one of the largest dog breeds in the world. Despite their size and sometimes intimidating bark, this breed has built a reputation of being one of the most gentle and loyal family dogs around. If you're debating getting an English Mastiff, have a look at some of the pros and cons you should consider. That way, you can make a more informed decision and decide if this is really the right breed for you. So let's dive right into it. As always, we'll start with the pros. There's no doubt that the English Mastiff is a great dog breed. Though the perfect breed if you just like to hang around the house or invite friends over for the big game. They learn new rules rather quickly, even though they can sometimes be a little stubborn. They don't make all that much noise unless you're bothered by the sound of a 150 pound dog sleeping beside you. This dog will let you know if the family is in danger and keep a close eye on your kids, their new best friends. English Mastiffs don't require much exercise. The English Mastiff is actually a pretty lazy dog breed. That makes them the perfect fit if you love to lounge around the house and chill out on the couch. In fact, they'd probably rather cuddle up with you in bed than go for a long walk. However, they do appreciate some exercise during the day, though they don't do well with intense exercise. That's because there are plenty of physical restrictions for this breed because of its huge size, weak joints, and incredible mass. To get the English Mastiff active, you should be okay with about an hour of exercise per day, or about two 30-minute walks. This pooch also might be up for a casual jog or hike at the local park, though low speed would be the best option. Regardless of their minimal need for exercise they still do need some. English Mastiffs are relatively easy to train. Though the English Mastiff appears to be a dominant dog breed. It's really not too hard to train them. That's because they love to please their owners and will do anything to impress you, especially when it comes to learning new skills and commands. What makes training even easier for this dog is its love of food rewards. So, keep a bag of tiny treats on hand, and you'll be able to keep them under control, even when they grow larger than 100 or 200 pounds. The English Mastiff is great with training, but you need to keep training sessions short and to the point. Try your best to begin daily training sessions, about 15 minutes each, starting when your English Mastiff is about 2 months old. Given the sheer size of this dog, it's important that you teach them to socialize properly with other dogs and people. You want your Mastiff to nicely approach new people and dogs without scaring them off with a friendly lunge or an excited bark. English Mastiffs are very loyal to their families. One of the most sought-after traits of this breed is its incredible sense of loyalty. Once it builds a relationship with its family and close friends, it'll do whatever it can to keep them safe from any outside threats. Your dog will be so loyal, however, that he might relentlessly follow you around the house and give off a clingy vibe. It might be annoying at first, but when you realize he's doing it because he loves you, it'll actually seem really sweet. The English Mastiff was bred to be protective, not aggressive. So, they're much more likely to warn you of danger and try to get in between you and a stranger than actually try to intervene in a confrontation. English Mastiffs are very social dogs. The English Mastiff is considered a gentle giant. Rather than running around and playing outside, your English Mastiff would rather spend some time in the air conditioning indoors and just spend time with you. Though clearly not a lap dog in terms of its size, it is known for being very affectionate. English Mastiffs are great with kids. Even though you might be a little nervous about leaving your 200 pound English Mastiff with a toddler or baby, this breed is actually really good with kids. When they recognize these new small humans are part of their family, they welcome them with open arms. This breed is extremely tolerant of the common behaviors of children. They'll put up with a lot, whether your kid accidentally pulls your Mastiff's tail, tugs on his ears, or pushes into him when trying to wrestle. The greatest issue is the size difference. 
Even though your English Mastiff would never intentionally hurt your child, there's always the possibility that he might knock your kid over when playing or simply walking by. English Mastiffs are pretty quiet dogs. This breed definitely has a pretty intense bark, but it's very rare that you'll actually hear this breed bark once they're adults. Once you teach them that barking isn't appropriate in the home, they usually catch on pretty quickly and leave that behavior for emergencies only. But, even the most well-trained English Mastiffs will send off an alert bark if he feels there's an intruder or danger to the family. Next, let's take a look at some of the cons. English Mastiffs shed a ton. The actual hair of the English Mastiff is pretty short, but don't let that convince you that they don't shed. This breed is actually one of the worst offenders when it comes to just how much they shed. The reason they shed so much is that they have a double coat. This coat is designed to give the breed a little extra protection in extremely hot and extremely cold weather. But, it also means that the coat will blow twice a year in the spring and the fall. This breed sheds year-round, so it's best to keep up with grooming on a daily basis. English Mastiffs drool quite a bit. Think about the massive size of the English Mastiff. They can sometimes weigh over 200 pounds, but the issue isn't really in their weight. It's actually in the structure of their mouth, their loose lips. Because the English Mastiff's lips aren't able to hold back any excess drool and saliva, the breed always seems to be drooling. They most often drool when they get hungry, when they drink water, or when they exercise a little too much. English Mastiffs are prone to health issues. The larger a dog is, and the more it weighs, the more likely it is to develop health conditions. When it comes to the English Mastiff, there are a few health conditions that are much more common. Here's a look at these conditions. Hip dysplasia. Bloat. Because of the large veterinarian expenses that come with the health issues that come with this breed many owners opt for pet insurance which can be a wise choice particularly for large dogs. English Mastiffs are expensive to care for. The cost of treating health conditions like bloat and hip dysplasia can run you several thousand dollars each. Yet, a lot of the cost that comes with owning this breed is the amount of money you'll be spending on food and supplements. A big dog that can weigh over 200 pounds needs to be eating a lot of food on a daily basis. For some English Mastiffs, this means eating about 2 pounds of food a day, and even more if your dog is larger. Even if you lean towards some of the cheaper food options, you still might be looking at at least $30 a week just to feed your Mastiff. Buying higher quality food and wet food will be even harder on your wallet. But, since this dog has relatively weak joints, you should be giving your English Mastiff joint supplements on a daily basis. These can be another $30 or more a month. Plus, given the size of your English Mastiff, he'll need more than one a day, which eventually adds up. English Mastiffs seem to intimidate people. You know how nice and cuddly your English Mastiff is, but a dog of this size tends to be intimidating to the outside world. So much so, in fact, that it wouldn't be uncommon for people to back away when your pooch approaches. This dog can weigh over 200 pounds and measure in at around 32 inches at the shoulders. Considering the fact that this breed tends to weigh more than the average American, it's no surprise that others are so wary of this dog. The major downside of owning a Mastiff is its reputation. Since it's so large and news stories about aggression tend to be major headlines, you might be restricted when it comes to where you can live with this type of dog. English Mastiffs have a relatively short lifespan. According to the American Kennel Club, the average lifespan for the English Mastiff is between 6 and 10 years. That's because larger dogs tend to age much more quickly, as compared to much smaller breeds. Because of this, breeds like the English Mastiff are much more likely to experience bone and joint issues much sooner. Tack on the extra weight this breed is lugging around, and you'll understand why their lifespan is what it is. Conclusion Even though the Mastiff is intimidating to the outside world, that doesn't mean they're scary or dangerous dogs. They're usually very loving and loyal to their own families.